Imagine this. You look up at the night sky, see the glowing full moon, and suddenly learn that a massive asteroid could smash into it within just a few years. This isn't science fiction. It's a real astronomical concern. Today, we'll talk about asteroid 2024 YR4, an object that might change the face of our cosmic neighborhood. Stay with me, because what you are about to hear could shape the future of space exploration and our safety. Asteroid 2024 YR4 was discovered only recently. At first, astronomers worried it might come dangerously close to Earth, but follow-up calculations revealed something else, about a 4% chance that it could collide with the Moon in December 2032. It's estimated to be hundreds of meters across and traveling at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour. If it hits, the impact would be powerful enough to carve out a brand new crater on the lunar surface. So how do scientists know there's a 4% chance? Every time we track an asteroid, we don't just get one orbit, we get a cloud of possible orbits based on tiny uncertainties in measurement. Astronomers run thousands of simulations, like tossing thousands of darts at a board. If a few of those darts hit the target, in this case the moon, that's where the probability comes from. With more observations, the cloud of uncertainty shrinks. The risk could go down or stay. That's why monitoring is critical. Now let's talk numbers. If 2024 YR4 is 300 meters wide, just a mid-range estimate, it could weigh tens of millions of tons. Traveling at 20 kilometers per second, the impact energy would be in the range of hundreds of megatons of TNT. For comparison, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested on Earth, the Tsar Bomba, was about 50 megatons. This single asteroid could release several times more energy, all concentrated in one instant, on the Moon. Impacts are nothing new for the Moon. Craters like Tycho and Copernicus are reminders of colossal collisions in the past. In fact, the Moon's surface is basically a record book of impacts stretching back billions of years. Even in modern times, small flashes have been observed by amateur astronomers when tiny meteoroids hit the surface. But 2024 YR4 would be in a different league, visible, dramatic, and permanent. Let's explore three possible outcomes. Small impact scenario. If the asteroid is on the smaller side of estimates, the crater would still be impressive but localized. Space agencies might breathe a sigh of relief and scientists would gain valuable data. Medium impact scenario. If it's hundreds of meters across, the ejecta, the debris thrown into space, could form vast clouds orbiting Earth and the Moon. That debris could threaten satellites, space stations, and lunar missions. Worst case scenario. If the object is larger or strikes at a steep angle, the ejecta could include thousands of fragments, some potentially redirected toward Earth. Even if none reach the ground, orbiting debris would be a nightmare for spacecraft. Each scenario is unlikely to be catastrophic for life on Earth, but could be devastating for our technology in space. Why does debris matter? Imagine thousands of new fragments whizzing around at orbital speeds. Even a pebble moving that fast could destroy a satellite. We rely on satellites for everything, navigation, weather forecasts, banking transactions, internet connections. A debris field could mean billions of dollars in losses and years of setbacks. And for astronauts aboard the International Space Station or future lunar bases, the risks could be life-threatening. So what are the options? Kinetic impactors slamming a spacecraft into the asteroid to nudge its orbit. NASA tested this with the DART mission in 2022, and it worked. Gravity tractors, stationing a heavy spacecraft nearby, slowly tugging the asteroid with gravity. Nuclear options, using a nuclear device to either push or fragment the asteroid. Risky, but on the table. The key? Time. 
The earlier we act, the less force is needed to change the asteroid's path. But here's the tricky part. Who decides to act? Using nuclear devices in space raises huge political and legal questions. The Outer Space Treaty forbids placing nuclear weapons in orbit. Would nations agree to make an exception? Who would take the lead? NASA? ESA? The UN? Planetary defense isn't just about rockets and physics. It's also about international trust and decision-making. Let's answer some common questions viewers might have. Will debris fall on Earth? The chance is extremely small, but tiny fragments could reach near Earth space. Will the moon look different? Possibly. A fresh, bright crater could be visible through telescopes, maybe even to the naked eye under the right conditions. Will tides on Earth change? No. The moon is massive, and losing a small fraction of its surface won't change its pull on Earth in any measurable way. Remember, the 4% chance isn't fixed. As we observe more, that number will likely shrink. But the very possibility of a collision reminds us that space is dynamic and dangerous. Asteroids don't care about borders or politics, which is why planetary defense must be a global effort. So, what do you think? Should humanity invest more in planetary defense, or is this an exaggerated threat? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Your voice matters, because the future of space exploration may depend on how ready we are. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and share this video to stay updated on the latest space news. Because the cosmos is always changing, and we need to be ready.